In this section of the course, we'll explore different ways to share our photos on social media platforms such as Facebook and Flickr. Please note that in order to use these features, you will require a Facebook or Flickr account. Setting up an account is free and only takes a couple of minutes to do. While in the library module, scroll down on your left panel here until you see the heading Publish Services. If you don't see this heading, uh, right click on any panel and just make sure there's a check mark next to Publish Services. Expand it by clicking on this arrow here. In the Publish Services panel, you'll notice four places where you can publish your gallery. Uh, this includes your hard drive, Facebook, and Flickr. Click on the Setup button next to any one of these items to enter Lightroom's Publishing Manager. So I'll just go ahead and click Setup next to Hard Drive. Here, we can configure the publish settings for each one of these options. For now, make sure Hard Drive is selected on the left side. On the right side, we can now set up options relevant to this service which in this case is publishing to our own hard drive. First, we need to enter a description for this publishing service. It can be anything, like for example, local photos is what I'll call it. The export location will determine where on your hard drive the published photos will be stored. So anytime you publish to this service, Lightroom will export all your images to the specified folder over here. To change this folder, just click on choose and you can make a new folder on your desktop or wherever on your computer you'd like. And you can just select the folder we've created. If you want these images stored in a subfolder within the parent directory, you can place a check mark in this box here, but we don't want to do that, so I'm going to uncheck it. Under file naming, you can change the default file name of each file as they're exported. If you do want them renamed, make sure you place a check mark in this box here. And then you can select the format of the name from this menu. If you want a customized file name, you can click edit and you can uh, work with the file name template editor here. I don't want the images renamed, so I'm going to uncheck this box. You can see an example of the file name you've selected right over here. And right now I've, I've kept the original file name. So that's what it's going to look like. You can also select the extensions for the file name, whether you want lowercase or uppercase. So if I change this to uppercase, you'll see the extension changes. If you have videos in your gallery, you can choose to include or exclude them in the video panel. I've included them, and here I can set the video format. H.264 will create uh, standard MP4 files that are compatible with probably the, the largest amount of uh, web devices out there. So I tend to go with that one. You can also set the quality of your videos, whether you want maximum, high, medium, or low. And just keep in mind that the better the quality, the larger the file size. So if, if you have uh, most of your visitors are going to be using high speed connections, you can leave it as max and that should be fine. Since most of the images in our gallery are JPEG images, uh, it's important to set the file settings to suit our needs. So we want to make sure that the image format exports in JPEG. If you wanted to use any other format, you could. And uh, you can use this menu right over here. Here's the quality. Uh, 60 is a bit low. 70 to 80 is probably uh, better for publishing. Your color space. I generally go with sRGB. If you're going to be using these images for print, you could always export as Adobe RGB as well. Or if you want a very large color space, uh, Pro Photo RGB um, works well. So I'll just leave it, leave it as sRGB for now. If you want to preserve disk space, you can limit the file size of each export. Keep in mind, if you do limit the file size, Lightroom will automatically reset the quality uh, to the maximum allowable under the file size allocation you've set. So for example, if I uncheck this, I can select the quality manually. If I place a check mark here, Lightroom is going to do that for me uh, to make sure that each image fits within my, uh, my file size limit. If you'd like to resize your images, you can. Place a check mark in this box over here and you can set the width and height of each one of your images as they're exported. You would enter the width here, the height here in pixels, the resolution, and the unit of measurement. But since we don't want to resize them, I'll uncheck that box. Output sharpening will automatically sharpen your published images. You can sharpen the image so it's optimized for screen viewing or for print. So I'll place a check mark here. This is optimized for screen. Each, both of these are optimized for print. 
If you're using matte paper, select this one. If you're going to be printing on glossy paper, select this one. And then you can set the amount of the sharpening, whether it's low, standard, or high. I'll go ahead and uncheck that because I don't want Lightroom to, uh, to sharpen my images. Under the metadata panel, you can set Lightroom to include all metadata or only specific fields such as copyrights, copyright and contact info, and so on. If you want to remove location info and personal info information, you can by unchecking these boxes. This is important if you plan to publish these photos on Facebook. Uh, you may not want the GPS information of images taken at uh, private locations uh, visible to the public. So if that is the case, make sure there is a check mark in both of these boxes. And lastly, you can decide whether you want to include your watermark on each file exported. So if you do, place a check mark in this box here, and then you can select the watermark you want to apply. These are the two we created, watermark one and watermark one small. Uh, you can apply any one of those, or you can apply the Lightroom default uh, copyright, or you can edit the watermarks and create an entirely new one. Completely up to you.